wasn't sure if I said enough about the um, fastening the pipe. So down here, it's sitting on the stove. There is no fasteners. And it's in it quite a ways. It's in probably, well, it's a good two inches. And then up here, we have it all screwed together. And then here, I chose to use these clamps or straps which clamp by screwing them in. You can use a screwdriver or even your screw gun. Now, the reason for that is two reasons. First of all, these liners are stainless steel and it's not very thick stainless steel there, but to, you can't get these screws into it. You have to pre-drill it and it doesn't drill very easy, but it does drill, you can do it. So the straps are much easier to put on now, secondly, and probably more importantly, is when I take this off to clean it, and you really should clean them, this way I can loosen up these clamps with a screwdriver, slide that off, slide the pipe off gently, pick it up there, carry the whole thing outside, when it's, and then kind of tap it and get, the, get it clean. And then I can reach my hand in there and clean that. And then put it back on, do the reverse, and then just tighten up the straps. Versus if you take the screws out, which are not hard to take out, but to get them back into the same hole is often an issue. So that's another. So that's a real reason I really like the strapping now. I picked up on that from the company who was making liners. They were using these straps for a lot of different situations. And I really like them. Now, the one thing I did notice, I had put two of these straps outside the building on the top of the chimney. Not here, but down to his air estate. And I noticed that each of them broke. So I might have tightened them up too much and didn't give them the flexibility for different temperature changes with the metal heating and expanding and contracting. So just snug them, I think, is probably the ticket. And then you should be good. I, I mean, I snugged them fairly well in here, but I didn't think they would ever break. But yeah, I did find them on the ground, both of them. So I do need to, when I get the lift out, you know, on that side of the house, I need to put new ones on. And this time I'll probably put three and not snug them down quite so hard. Okay, we've got some heat going here, and we're ready to start some woodworking today. We're first going to start on this pile over here. We're going to go through and cut all the all this good stuff out we can for about four inch width, and we're going to use them as store or um, stair design elements and also support. So we have a pretty good pile there. We'll be going through that whole thing, and little ones up on top there. Got some black walnut in there I pulled out. I'm going to plane that down to three quarters of an inch so I can get that in there too. Okay, let's get to work. 